Hey friends, Drew here on a beautiful roof in uh, Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, working on solving a mystery water leak that's been going on for some time now. Uh, they had water coming in into three different rooms down below this space right here. And uh, at one point had had the counter flashing and the, and the step flashing redone. And uh, I guess that solved it maybe for a little while, but then the, the problem returned. Anytime they had a, a solid, hard, wind-driven rain, uh, it just seemed to find its way in and uh, no one could figure out why. So the only way that we can guarantee that it's not going to leak again is to take the whole thing apart and do it again from scratch. So we, uh, we had an agreement to take out the stucco and uh, we're planning really just to rework the step flashing and uh, kind of just work up the, the edge of each shingle there and, and get in and just kind of take those pieces out and rework them and get them back in where they needed to be maybe with some new stuff and then put it back together. Uh, sadly, when we got the stucco apart, we found that they actually had two different layers of uh, step flashing in there and uh, the, the new one that was put on it was not doing its job obviously because things were still leaking and the one in the back was all kind of jacked up and not how it should have been and we couldn't physically get to it to make any changes to it because of the new layer of shingles and the new underlayment that was over it so I'll take you up the roof here a little bit and we've already stripped off um, the upper layer so what we're down to now is a piece of ice and water shield that they had run down Tar paper was over top of that. Um, they had the step flashing actually under the ice and water shield, but there was nothing that really made this connection to the wall. Uh, big giant gap right here uh, between the plywood and the sheathing. And um, just no solid connection here. And then this just kind of sitting there and uh, whatever. I don't think the water was getting down through the stucco. That was the first thought was what do we need to do something with the stucco. Uh, it's more just how it was flashed and how it was counter flashed and the moisture getting in this way uh, when the wind drove it, we think. So we found a couple things we didn't like about how the flashing was done up and down the roof. So our goal here is we're going to take all this off top to bottom uh, from here all the way down to the bottom on this side. And uh, Norm's working on doing the same uh, work on the back side here and getting that all stripped off. And once we have all of the uh, once we have all the step flashing out of the way like Norm does here. We're gonna go back with uh, some ice and water shield, and then we'll probably uh, put in a piece of lumber down there at the bottom to give us something to counter flash to. Uh, we'll run some Z flashing over that. We will uh, adhere everything to the wall the way it needs to be. That way our stucco guys can bring their work back down over the top and everything will be flashed and moving water to the outside like we always talk about. So that's the fun scoop with what's going on with this project. Uh, at this point, we're gonna wind up replacing this entire roof because we just can't get the shingles apart in a way that's gonna allow us to put it back together in a watertight manner. So uh, this whole roof is gonna come off and get redone. But right now we're worried about getting that corner waterproofed in the way it needs to be. So piece of lumber in there and uh, new step flashing, some new Z flashing, some new ice and water shield, and it's gonna be beautiful when we're done. So that's what we're working on here in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. If we can solve a problem for you, give our office staff a call weekdays, 9.30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon at 484-748-0008. Choose option 2 for COPE construction and renovation and extension 2 for new projects, and we'll be happy to serve you. If you'd like to take a picture of what's going on at your house, send that to us right here on our Facebook page. Just kick that message us button up there on the cover photo, or if you prefer, email office at copebuilt.com, and our team will get back to you. Remember, when we're finished with the project, you're going to be proud to say it's not just done. It's COPE built. We'll catch you guys in another video. Bye for now.